The following video has been... Tankard approved! <laughs> Dear Mr. McQueen, it has recently come to my attention that the employees of Public Amenity Number 13 have mysteriously disappeared. I'm sending you to Crystal Lake to personally assess the situation. Truly yours, Caldwell B. Cladwell. Oh, he sent me out here all by myself. It's winter time, and I'm still sweating. I've been in this place here. It's scary. Public Amenity the 13th. It's gotta be crazy. Excuse me, sir? You're all doomed. Doomed, you're all doomed. What do you mean we're all doomed? There's only one of me! Pay for a piece, sir? Sorry, I'm a little short. Then you're doomed! Ooh, smells like somebody used this. but the set of Franklin Footlight Theater's latest production here at the historic Franklin Opera House. I'm Ryan Clark and I'm here to welcome you to the 2009 Franklin Theater Awards. Hey Ryan! Well, if it isn't my co-host, you're a town's own little Sally. I got a couple questions about this video, Ryan. Well, little Sally, we only have so much time, but go ahead anyway. First off, how come Officer Lockstock isn't co-hosting? Well, it's simple. If he was, then I wouldn't have as much screen time. And we couldn't let that happen now, could we? I guess not. Also, it seems to me like this year's video is going to be a lot like last year's. Well, first off, that's not really a question. And second, you're very, very wrong. This year's video won't be at all like last year's video. Anyway, this year, we're going to be interviewing people that were involved with the shows. But there were interviews last year. We'll be starting off with the summer show, the musical delight, Hello, Dolly! Isn't that the video that Wally was watching? Probably. I'm sitting here now with Chad Connor Murphy, who you may remember from his starring role in Hello, Dolly. So, how are you today, Connor? Good. How did you prepare for your role in Hello, Dolly? Well, uh, I was a little afraid I might do the lights wrong. I, uh... When did Peter Pan first? I, uh, I forgot a lot about the Oklahoma. Well, then, I just got it right, so everything went through, and, uh, I think that's about it. Maybe. Hey, who's that baby? Her name's Zoe. She's my, uh, baby sister. Sister, eh? So, baby, I was told that you were in utero for most of the production of Hello, Dolly. What was that like? <laughs> That's all you have for Dolly? Well, we're on a strict time constraint here, and there's a lot to cover in this video. Well, if you didn't have the opening, then we'd have more time to talk about the show. Oh, Sally, how little you know. <laughs> anyway, now we'll be talking about our fall show, the tear-jerking lady drama Steel Magnolias. That really means... <laughs> the same could be said for everyone involved with the production. But there was one individual whose part in the show was very special. And tonight, you fine ladies and gentlemen will witness the very first on-screen interview with... Earl the Dead Cat. Now, Earl, you were in all three Footlight productions this season, but your biggest role was in Steel Magnolias. Why don't you tell us about how it came to be? Well, both the director and the devilishly handsome assistant director wanted me in the show, so I got a call the last week of rehearsals and came down and just jumped right into production. A week before? 
That brings up another question. You frequently join shows mere days before opening, or in the case of Unitown, the very last performance. As an actor, how are you able to take on these roles last minute and come off looking like you've been there since day one? It's all in the training. I'm able to take on just about any character at a moment's notice because of my strict training habits. I'm like the Michael Phelps of acting, right down to the drug addiction. Fascinating. What about the crew? Or the actresses? Or any real person in the show? <laughs> Dick duck, little Sally. Dick duck. Did you at least interview a real person for your town? Ah, uh, you're in town. Our spring show and the final show of the season. A hilarious political and social satire about my personal favorite subject, going to the bathroom. Now don't you fret, little Sally. We won't pull any punches with these interviews. <laughs> I now have the pleasure of speaking with another baby, this one involved in the production of Urinetown. So tell me, other baby, what was the atmosphere like during a Urinetown rehearsal? Was it all strictly business, or was it a little loosey-goosey? Since today's youth is very, uh, how shall I say, e-news-minded, do you have any juicy gossip or tidbits about the show? This is some good stuff, other baby. Don't answer another question, Phoebe! The baby has a name? I'm now here with yet another baby from Urinetown. So tell me, third baby, what was your experience in Urinetown like? This baby doesn't seem to be saying anything. It's because it's not real, jerk face. Not real, huh? Well, then I guess there's no problem with me punching it! <laughs> I guess it just is a pillow. But you got beat it up last time! Little Sally, when you see a sequel to a movie, do you want to see something completely different? No, you don't. No, but I don't want to see a total rehash either. Well, one man's creativity can only go so far. Before we get to this next interview, let me explain that it was taken during a vocal warm-up, so you might have a slight problem understanding what he's saying, but I don't think it's really that big of a deal. I'm now speaking with Matt Potter, a newcomer to the Footlight scene. So, Matt, how did you learn about Footlight in Urinetown? Well, yeah, it's over here. I'm like, oh, it's so cool. I like, that's cool. What was the audition process like? Uh, it, was, it was tough for fair, you know, I thought well, I got something comfortable around right there, I was really good, and, you know, it worked out. Oh, okay. Now, the first day of rehearsal, was it like the first day of preschool, trying to fit in with the rest of the crowd while simultaneously not wetting your pants? Oh, oh my god! No! Oh, it hurts so much for something so little! <laughs> We're now in the conference room, downstairs, past the green room. Now, little huh? Elton John? That's Sir Elton John. What are you doing here? Why, well, I'm co-hosting your silly little video. Where's little Sally? Her visa expired. Oh, okay, yeah, that... Wait a minute! Just get on with it! Right, yeah, okay. Aside from the Footlight shows, the FHS players also do three shows a season. <laughs> and the first being Disney's Hesman Thurston Father. <clears throat> Haskmas but hot bibs with the Pusquiz with the Horse with the Haskam and her Hold her High School Musical, you fat sod. That's it. We're now sitting down with Rosemary Pelletier, who starred in all three shows this high school season. Now, Rosemary, why don't you tell me about your character and Haskam Haskam? High School Musical? Yeah, there we go. Uh, and your, uh, favorite number in the show. Uh, my character's name is Janie. <laughs> and, I don't know, I was one of, it was in the ensemble. I had, like, a two-second solo part. <laughs> uh, my favorite song would probably be We're All In This Together. Uh, are you, are you okay? Mm. Um, yeah, there is a song called Bop To The Top. Um, you, you must have heard of that song, yeah. Uh, it was a really, really good one. Uh, Sharpay was great in it. <coughs> and I, th it was really good. Oh my, oh my god! The second show was a brief one-act comedy that was taken to this year's New Hampshire Educational Theater Guild Regional Festival. Ha ha ha! We're lost to bloody Philip Glass. Yes, thanks for bringing that up again. Just roll the interview. Now, Rosemary, you were also in this year's NHETG festival piece, the... 
least offensive play in the whole darn world. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. What was it like working with the director of the show? to talk about my rock opera. Oh, we're not so fast there, Rocket Man. It looks like we're all out of time. How dare you shortchange Sir Elton John. I wrote the music to Lestat, damn it! Huh, yeah, and that was as good an idea as changing the words to Candle in the Wind for Princess Di's memorial. I think I've heard enough out of you. Elton, no! What happened to you? You used to be a Rolling Stone. Well, as I've said before, we all lead elaborate lives, and yours is over. Oh. Goodbye, Yellow Brick Road. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Enjoy the Franklin Theatre Awards. I'm Sir Elton John.